it's 20 after 6, it's uh, going to be uh, 12 hours soon. And we expect Tanner here in about half an hour, maybe. Tanner passed pit 9, which is 10 miles away, at 8.29. And he's not here yet. Come on, Tanner. It's very dangerous now. The trophy truck's coming through. Very dangerous. On a 1 to 10 scale, the Baja 1000 is easily a 12. It's 24 to 47 hours of very little sleep, darkness, booby traps, fires on the race course. We could have the best equipment, this and that, and there's, there's elements of this thing that are unknown that sometimes you don't have any control over. So all you can do is to, you know, do everything in your power that you could think of to make it work. Headlight, the headlight's falling off. On paper, it sounds like, oh, it's a thousand miles. It sounds difficult, but you don't really know how difficult it is until you actually come out here and ride it. You've got to fight the terrain, you've got to fight fatigue, you've got to fight hypothermia. A lot of the spectators will pile up rocks on the course, try to build jumps, try to deviate the riders, try to cause accidents because they want the mayhem and all the excitement. All the hours of training and practicing and preparation has all come down to this. It's a once in a year deal. And you got to leave it all there, you know. We are in the middle of the biggest longest, most grueling, unforgiving race in the world right now.